Hello gang, Coach Canelli here with video two of my series. This video is going to be about the keys to success in wrestling or in life in general. There's going to be three keys. Key number one is you need an ignition. Why are you here? What's the purpose that driving you? For some kids it could be as simple as the coach could be their ignition. Pulling you out of a gym class, pulling you out of hallways, recruiting you to do something. It could be your parents or family. Maybe you had some family that wrestled, some brothers or sisters that wrestled. You want to do it because you know about that and you want to get better through there. It could be your friends. You might have some friends. Hey, come on out for the sport with me. This might be fun. Coach is putting money in my pocket. I got a new pair of shoes. I'm doing good things. That could be your ignition. It could be a health benefit. I want to get more muscle. I want to lose some weight. I want to get my body in better shape. Or it could be different sports benefits. I want to wrestle because I want to be better at football. I want to wrestle because I want a good base for MMA. Any of those things could be your ignition. You need to find out what your ignition is and utilize that to your advantage. Number two, you're going to need a master coach. We have Coach Corey at Tech right now. He's had a lot of success individually on his own multiple state titles. I know he's competed at the national level. I'd like to say he's won one. Not positive. I know he at least placed. And he's coached some MPS wrestlers at the highest levels. He's coached state champions. He's brought kids to Fargo, which is the highest in high school wrestling that you can get. And he's been there and done it before. He's almost the Mr. Miyagi of what we're trying to do at Tech. You got Coach Tony. He's a former MPS wrestler. Successful as well trying to give back to his community. He came in from the suburbs, so now he's got a whole different set of skills. He was at Brookfield East working with some tremendous wrestlers. Had a lot of success there, and he wants to come back to Milwaukee to help out his community. And then you got myself, Coach Kennelly. I'm not Kanye West, Wheezy, whatever he's going by these days. I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm a genius, I'm the master coach, I know it all, this is how it's going to be. I'd like to say I'm on my way to being a master coach, but to me, somebody else has to dub you a master. You don't call yourself a master. What I will tell you, though, is I have been trained by a lot of master coaches. I grew up in Chicago, learned the sport of wrestling by some great people, Hall of Fame coaches. High school, I had the same. I had high school national champion coach. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame in the IHSA, Illinois High School Wrestling Association. I've been taught by some great people. I want to bring those teachings to you. Some of those coaches have been, form been fortunate enough to give me a team state championship, a national championship, and a world championship out in Reno, Nevada. We beat a team called Team Monday, coached by Olympic champion Kenny Monday. And a group of kids from Chicago, coached by Team Twofer, went to Reno and won that tournament. World champions. So I've been trained by master coaches. I've also had success on my own. I qualified for Illinois State multiple times, placed multiple times, and was fortunate enough to get an AAU national title before my wrestling career was over, and I was able to do that in Chicago, which means a lot to me. The third thing you're going to need is deep practice. I'm going to teach you a wrestling system and how to use that system. If I were to sit here and just teach you moves, and no system to it, it would be like me teaching you words in Spanish and not telling you how to use them in sentences. And then trying to send you to Mexico, you go down there, you say taco, blue, sand, tamale. You look foolish, you don't really know what you're doing, but you're speaking in Spanish, you're saying those words, but you're not putting them together to make a sentence. You can't say, I am hungry, please give me tacos. That's where we want to get. We don't want to just teach you wrestling moves we want to teach you moves, implement them in a system that works to benefit you. From there, we'll get your own strengths, your weaknesses, and help you develop as a student athlete. To go off that, my challenge, which I did a challenge in the first one, we're bringing it back, is to find your ignition. Why are you here for? What's motivating you? What's that push to help you when you got a tough practice? What do you think about to get you through that practice? You need something to motivate you could be personal, could be external things, whatever it is, find something that works for you. Also, give back to the sport. Be somebody else's ignition. Go find a friend, even if they're not at our school, get somebody else involved in wrestling. 
whether it's little kids, high school kids, you're bringing back a former wrestler to be a coach. We had fortunate enough to have some guys from Pulaski come in and help us today. That was great. Keep giving back to the sport of wrestling. That's going to give you so much. I promise you. So I want to say thank you for listening. You could have been anywhere in the world tonight. You're choosing to watch this video. I truly appreciate that. Peace and much love to you.